here again. PRI keeps sucking us back. This is our fifth year, PRI 24. We wouldn't miss it for the world. This year, we have a joint show with Artec as always. We work really well together and you'll see that a lot of our products are getting co-produced. Now we've got a couple of 4G63s. We've got the JZ over there with the Artec twin turbo kit. That's a high mount kit. It's got our beautiful new cam covers, which we're about to release. We've always got the RBs on display, but this time we've got a Dartone Racing ITB setup on display, which looks epic. ITBs are selling really well. Everyone's into them. We've also got our dry sumped engine on display. We've got the diffs. I want to talk about the diffs because we're really focusing on drive lines at the moment. We want to complete the whole drive line package with all of the options. R200, we've got the 8.8. They also bolt into the Supra. We've got the RX-7 FD1 coming out soon. Then we've got our Pro Series bad boy. Now this thing is overkill. 35 spline spool by Strange. We've got our own running gear. We've got our own axles. We're using 128 millimeter Series 21 CV. Indestructible. All of this stuff is getting made in preparation for street cars that are going to run five second quarter miles. We've already got one of these setups in Mac 34. It's going to start being the norm. So we're getting ready for five second street cars. We know we can do it. There's got to be a platform to support it because we want people to stay straight. So what's different between the 31 spline spool and a 35? Obviously, one's got 31 splines and the other's got 35. It's a much bigger shaft. But what we've done with the 35 Spline Pro is instead of having two separate stub axles, which is normal in the IRS world, we've got one complete full-on unit. It's one shaft that goes through the whole diff. Then we control side preload with a Torrington bearing that you see in the front of RBs every now and then. So once all of that together, all of the running mating surfaces have bearings and roller bearings. Obviously the whole spool supported by a big roller bearing setup. And then we've got the bearings on both sides of the cups. All of this is held together and tolerant with a minimal run out and it's basically bulletproof. It was the best way forward to not have complications with separate stubs and also not have them fighting each other within the spool. This utilizes both halves of the spool and the spline is absolutely bulletproof with a different pressure angle on the 35 spline stuff. Overall, it bolts in the same. It takes up the same amount of room. It's roughly the same weight, with exception of the axles are obviously a lot heavier than the Pro, but it is the same footprint diff and you can interchange it and upgrade it. We know GDRs are getting faster. By the end of 25, we hope to see streetcars running fives. So let's go, turn the boost up, get a bigger diff into it and go and make some more power. Creswick here with Artec Performance, here's 2024 PRI exhibition. So one of the big things that uh, all the people here at PRI are really interested in and excited about is the new Artec twin turbo kit for the 2JZ GTE. A lot of the people uh, that have seen the pictures uh, on social media and online have commented that the kit does not come with dump pipes, it does, they are on display here. So that's cast down pipes to go with the single wastegate manifold. So this one's shown with twin Garrett G25 550s with our 0.5 turbine housing. They are a custom turbine housing by Artec to suit our manifold, which we specifically designed to be more compact to allow us to package the twin turbo kit to fit more chassis. This twin turbo kit can also be spec'd up to twin G30 660s, and we will also develop twin G25 660s. The G30 kit does come with 0.6 rear housings. On display also is the 70mm V-band. That's the big daddy 2JZ GTE manifold. We also have a T4 2J manifold as well as a V-band compact manifold. So why the twins? It just gives people more freedom to express what they want in their engine bay, their style. It will deliver a different power curve, which we will be demonstrating on our engine dyno single verse twins. <laughs> Thank you.
One of the interesting uh, features we are displaying the new 70mm V-band turbine housing. That's fairly new but it's not super unique. These fit our G45s, G42s from Garrett as well as Precision 75, 80, 85mm turbines. But the big thing for the show, which is something we've been working on for quite some time, is this shiny one. This is full titanium turbine housing made off our moulds for the stainless ones. Uh, it's quite a complex process. So in terms of weight savings, you're looking at about a 50 to 55% reduction in weight over stainless. So a standard one with 10 millimeter wall thickness on the turbine housing is 10 kilograms, and this titanium one is 4.5. As you can see, the weight savings are huge. Uh, it is a technology and process that's in the works. It is for our development purposes. We're not sure if it's gonna reach uh, retail or the end, end user as the costs are phenomenally high. However, depending on the market's response to the titanium stuff, we will be pushing as hard as we can in 2025 to get these to the end user.